Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. From the name itself, it is understood that the reaction takes place on an aromatic ring where one of the protons of a benzene ring is replaced by an electrophile. So what are electrophiles? Electrophiles are electron deficient species. Yes, we are going to focus on the general mechanism now. First to step in any of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction is formation of electrophile. Once the electrophile is formed, then a second step happens. That is the attack of electrophile on aromatic ring to get a cation which is known as cyclohexadienyl cation or arenium ion which is not aromatic but it is resonance stabilized. So let us see how it is formed. The benzene ring reacts on electrophile and one of the double bond is utilized to get a cation. So see here the cation is formed which is having a positive charge here and this double bond is utilized for the uh, for bonding with the electrophile and now this carbon which is sp3 hybridized carbon so our uh, formed cation is resonance stabilized but not aromatic here comes the third step where the formed cation loses a proton to regain aromaticity to get the substituted aromatic ring. So we will see here what happened. Uh, a base abstract proton from the carbon. The, which carbon? Which is sp3 hybridized carbon on which the electrophile is attached. From this carbon the proton is uh, gone or it is abstracted by the base which is present in the system and we get protonated base here as HP. It is mentioned as HP here and we get the substituted ring that is our electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction is done in this third step. I mentioned already the arenium ion is resonance stabilized. Here you can see the resonance structures of our arenium ion. Look at the way this uh, pi electrons are transferred to the negative char uh, positive charge sorry, to get stabilized structures. It's a partially resonance structure because the sp3 hybridized carbon is not involved. This sp3 hybridized carbon is not involved in this resonance. First example we are going to talk about is nitration. In nitration, benzene react with nitrating mixture which is nitric acid and sulfuric acid mixture to get nitrobenzene as product. Now we are going to focus on the mechanism of nitration. So as we mentioned already, the first step is the formation of electrophile. So uh, the formation of electrophile is the first step. Here we take nitrating mixture. That is a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. The purpose of sulfuric acid is to help nitric acid to generate the electrophile which is nitronium ion. So see here the nitric acid which has three oxygens attached to it. One oxygen with three uh, lone pairs of electrons and which has a negative charge on it. The other oxygen with two lone pairs of electron. The third oxygen is attached to a proton as an hydroxyl group or a as a OH group, sorry, uh, as an OH group here you can see. So what happens in the first step? Deprotonation of the sulfuric acid takes place. That is the OH group present in this nitric acid abstract one of the protons from the sulfuric acid. So the OH group of nitric acid now became like OH2 plus that is this OH group abstract the proton. So this will become OH2 plus which is a very good leaving group which leaves uh, the nitric acid as water molecule and we get a uh, hydrogen sulfate ion along with that our desired nitronium ion which is the electrophile. Next what happened let us start with the benzene. So this benzene react with the our formed nitronium ion. See this benzene 
which react with the formed nitronium ion and one of the pi bonds uh, are one of the pi bonds are utilized because this nitronium ion come and attached any one of this pi bond let us say we are uh, taking this pi bond and this pi bond breaks and this nitronium ion get attached on this carbon which i mentioned already is an sp3 hybridized to carbon with this one on the, on that this nitronium uh, ion attached and this is a proton which is already present on the carbon so don't forget that each carbons present in this uh, benzene ring has one proton attached to it so in this step we get our uh, carbocation which is known as arenium ion or cyclohexide ionyl carbocation next to stop the formed carbocation loses the proton from the sp3 hybridized to carbon so what happened this is the sp3 hybridized carbon this formed carbocation loses this proton a base from the system abstract the proton so this base i am representing b as a general representation this base can be different depending on the solvent used so this base abstract the proton and this uh, proton leaves the system leaving its electron here itself so we get hb that is protonated base and our aromatic ring or our substituted aromatic ring this nitro substituted benzene or nitrobenzene as our final product next reaction we are going to focus is sulfonation sulfonation is the reaction of benzene with sulfuric acid to get benzene sulfonic acid so this reaction is reversible so we use heat energy yes now we are going to see the mechanism two molecules of sulfuric acid reacts and one of the molecules get protonated by the other one that is look at here two molecules of sulfuric acid is used this is sulfuric acid this is another sulfuric acid in this one of the um sulfuric acid gets protonated the other one gets deprotonated naturally so what happened this oh group abstract this proton and this get protonated once it get protonated we get protonated sulfuric acid here you can see this is that oh2 plus group which is a good leaving group we know it already and it leaves as water and we get our so3h electrophile here along with water and hydrogen sulfate ion so i hope uh, this is clear here two molecules of sulfuric acid is used one get protonated and the other get deprotonated the one which get protonated is this here oh2 plus forms which is a good leaving group and this leaves we get our electrophile and this is our deprotonated sulfuric acid as hso4 minus and this is our oh2 plus left the system as water molecule in the next step the formed electrophile attack the benzene ring so in some textbooks you can see instead of so3h you can see so3 here i am using so3hy because it's a positively charged ion which is more electrophilic than the neutral so3 okay so this formed electrophile attack this benzene ring and we get our uh, carbocation okay so we get our carbocation where this uh, so3h attached here and this is a proton which is already present on the carbon next step the base abstract this proton from the sp3 hybridized to carbon and we get our final product that is benzene sulfonic acid thank you i hope this session helped you please keep watching pharmacy mystery classroom